world. And with that same concept that I shared before, you know, from the beginning of time, literally from whatever is the Big Bang or God did it, whatever, but from that beginning to right now and from right now forevermore, there will never be another you. You're it. You're, you're, you're you. <laughs> no one else will ever be that. So I invite you to consider what, what are you going to do with that you? What's your function? See, because for me, there's, there's, only, there's only two ways that we can move energy. All of us are like meat radios, right? <laughs> We're made out of meat or ambulatory water balloons that transmit and receive energy, whatever you want to call it. My fellow mammals, <laughs> we tend to receive and transmit energy, right? That's how we communicate. And there's many levels before our actual senses that we feel and experience. These are all like in slow motion. They happen light years behind the actual occurrence of an energetic that you're having or that we're having right now. But the point is, what's your function? And inside that function, if there if you are receiving and transmitting information continuously, radionic being, we can actually measure it. It's like a huge donut that wraps outside your body and then comes back up your feet. And it used to be up until just about eight years ago, they could only measure it only 12 feet. And there was a 12 foot high and 12 feet going into the ground and 12 foot around this big donut that wherever you walked, you had this electromagnetic field. Well, now we know it goes as far as 51 feet. I say it goes for infinity, but we can measure it. So all of us are blending our beings right now and we're radiating energy and we're receiving energy. But I say there's really only two ways that we can, when we are wielding the energy, when we are directing it, there's only two possible ways to do that. And I characterize them as one as sorcery and the other one as wizardry. And the easiest way to express that is that the sorceric way, when you're wielding your energy, it is for the good of yourself at the expense of others. For the good of oneself or one's tribe or one's community at the expense of others. That is the sorceric way of moving energy inside this biosphere we call life. And the other way, the wizardly way, would be for the good of everyone at the expense of no one. Those are your only two choices. And recently in one of my writings I was saying to myself, but ultimately I, it might go out as a book or something, I don't know. But I was writing to myself, seek not what you can get, rather seek what you can give. Everywhere, every day, in your home, the countertop, <laughs> the laundry, the garbage, the children, the kids, your car, the grocery clerk. What can you give? How can I be of service to you? How can I uplift and nurture your life?